Hello and welcome back. Today we are squaring a binomial. So let's get started. Binomials are polynomials that have two terms separated by either a plus or a minus sign. Binomials, just like variables that we discussed before and other coefficients, can be raised to the power of 2. They can also be squared. And usually when you see this, you'll see the entire binomial in parentheses with the exponent on the outside. So if you're asked to solve the problem 2x plus 3y squared, that means that 2x plus 3y will be used as a factor two times and it will be easier to solve this if we use uh, two methods first of all FOIL and um, second of all there's a formula that we're going to do after the FOIL so the first thing we're going to ask ourselves is is it a binomial? check and is it squared? check so if you see a question that says solve or um, you know if you're not given if you're not given too much information you know that it's an issue of a binomial squared if you see the binomial and you see a square so with the first method what we're going to do is we're going to expand it so 2x plus 3y times 2x plus 3y that's what the actual problem is in its expanded form. Okay, so now that we have it in expanded form, it looks a little bit more familiar because we've already done these. So we can just proceed and we can just FOIL this. 2x times 2x equals 4x squared. And the outer terms, 2x times 3y equals a positive 6xy. The inner terms, 3y times 2x equals a positive 6xy. And the last term of both binomials multiplied together is 3y times 3y, which gives us a 9y squared. Let me move this up. Okay, do we have any common terms? Yes, we do. The common terms are right here. 6xy and 6xy. So, we're going to just combine those, and they're both positive, so we'll be adding them together to get a 12xy. So our completed answer is 4x squared plus 12xy plus 9y squared. And there you have it. And that is the answer to this squared binomial up here using the FOIL method. Okay, let's move on and talk about another way to solve these. And depending on who you are, you will um, usually stick to one, one or the other. Okay, so the second problem, number two, it says x plus 7 squared. And we're going to ask ourselves the same questions that we asked before. Is it a binomial? Check. Is it squared? Check. Then we have an issue of squaring a binomial. So, the second way to solve these is by using a formula. And there are going to be two choices depending on whether you see a plus sign or a minus sign in between the two terms. The first one is when you have an a minus a b squared, what you can do is a squared minus 2 times a times b plus b squared. And the second one is when you have an a plus b squared, you can write it out as 
a squared plus 2 times a times b plus b squared. So it's just a little bit different based on whether or not you, you have a plus or a minus in between the terms. And right now we have a plus, so let me put a star beside this one. We're going to do this one. Well, it almost looks like a star. <laughs> okay, so we've picked a formula. Well, if you need bullet points or numbers, then what we'll do is identify A and B. So, the problem was x plus 7 squared. So, x will be our A, 7 will be our B. Next thing we do is pick a formula. And we pick the second one because we have a plus sign between our terms. And the next thing we have to do is insert our numbers into the formula. And when we do that, what we have is x plus 7 squared equals x squared plus 2 times x times 7 plus 7 squared. And when we simplify that, well that's the, um, I wouldn't call it expanded, but um, the terms in the middle instead of multiplying those in your head, I want you to go ahead and write it out. The formula said uh, 2AB or 2 times A times B. So what you want to do the first time you write this is write everything out. 2 times X times 7. The reason being is because these terms are very simple. But some binomials have um, a mu are set up in a much more complicated way. So you just want to get into the habit of writing it down. Okay so after we've done that we can go ahead and do the multiplication in the middle and simplify this. And the answer is x squared plus 14x plus 49. And you get your 49 from the 7 squared up here. And that is the answer to this. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is product and sum of a difference. So stay tuned for the next video. See you then.